In this video, we're going to answer the question, does the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x dx converge or diverge? So what are we asking here? Well, here in this graph, I have um, drawn the function f of x equals 1 over x. So the definite integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x represents the area bounded by the graph of 1 over x between the x values of 1 and infinity. So if I were to try to shade that in my graph, well, I'd start here at x equals 1, and then I'd be shading under the curve here. But since my integral goes to infinity, this region is going to continue on and on and on and on forever. Um, so what I'm asking then, um, by asking if this interval converges or diverges, is I'm asking if this area has a finite value or if it has um, an infinite value. So if it has a finite value, we'll say that it converges. Um, if it has an infinite value, um, then we'll say that it diverges. So it may seem strange that we could even ask this question, um, could an area like this ever have a finite value, or could an area like this ever converge? But hopefully you just saw previously in the lesson, um, if you were paying attention, we looked at the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared dx, and by using the um, procedures for evaluating improper integrals, we discovered that that integral was actually equal to 1. So it is possible for an improper integral to converge. But let's see what happens in this case. This is a different integral. This is uh, the integral of 1 over x dx. So how do we evaluate an improper integral? So the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x dx equals, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this the limit from 1 to a, you can use any variable here um, to replace that infinity, and then I'm going to take the limit as a goes to infinity of that integral. So I'm going to have the limit as a goes to infinity of the integral from 1 to a of 1 over x dx. So then my next step is just to evaluate this definite integral here. So this is a pretty easy one to work with. So I get the limit as a goes to infinity. We want to make sure to always carry this limit through our work. So if I take the antiderivative of 1 over x, I get the natural log of the absolute value of x, and I'm going to evaluate this from 1 to a. So then this is the limit as a goes to infinity of the natural log of the absolute value of a minus the natural log of the absolute value of 1. So I can go ahead and actually evaluate the natural log of 1. I should know that that is 0. So then I end up with the limit as a goes to infinity of the natural log of the absolute value of a. Now if you know about the behavior of the natural log function, um, you should know that as the argument, um, or as this a goes to infinity, the natural log is going to go to infinity as well. So this limit then equals infinity. So then what that tells us in res uh, response to our question up here is that this integral actually diverges. Um, so this area that I've shaded in green here does not have a finite value, right? It has an infinite value. 